everybody welcome back for another video with me today i'm going to talk about monique today i finally got around to watching all of the interviews with monique mainly the one with the breakfast club and we learn a lot about monique's netflix negotiation and we learned that they lowball Monique. And when she sensed that they were lowballing her, she got mad at Charlemagne for naming her Dunkie of the day. And she said that previously she had met Charlemagne in the elevator and he was very polite, respectful, and humble. And basically she's saying he's no longer humble. And of course he's no longer humble. Like Charlemagne has blown up since that time period. He has lots of fans and his fan base has also diversified at this point. But what Monique should have said during the interview, but wait. You know what brother, you're gonna hear yourself a lot from me lately. You're gonna hear yourself around the world because we have to explain brothers like you. We do. And when we watched that movie, Birth of a Nation, and we saw that man walk his wife into that master's house, watched him walk his wife in, then we watched him go back and get him. You're that brother. I thank y'all for y'all time, you. my babies. Thank you. I respect the way Monique handled the interview. She was very polite. She was very ladylike. She did not allow Charlemagne to take her up out of her character. But at the same time, he was basically going ham on Monique and she should have came at him a little harder than that like for instance when she was saying you know you used to be polite and humble and respectful she could have said yeah you know you used to be polite humble and respectful like back when i met you in that elevator and you know you still had really dark skin you had you know a few black patches and you know since that time you bleached your skin and got lighter so now you're whitewashed and you're against black women now like boom that's a sound bite that would have went viral but you know she didn't go at him as hard as he was going at her but i think personally her husband should have told her to say that if he's managing her and another thing is monique i feel like she missed an opportunity to increase her network and value by simply taking the netflix special and doing a great job cracking great jokes make sure making sure that her jokes were already pre-written and that they were really good and then people would talk about her the way we are talking about chris rock's netflix special because every time we hear something funny about it the bloggers we post it and then everyone's like ha ah, you know i want to go see what everyone is talking about and then people are tuning in to watch chris's netflix special and monique could have did the same thing but she chose not to do it i completely understand that monique said that she got lowballed and in the interview with the breakfast club she revealed that the five hundred thousand dollars came with some conditions that we were not aware of uh, the number one issue is for that $500,000, Netflix expected Monique to not do any comedy tours for two years. So Monique would not be allowed to crack any jokes for two years because they did not want anything she was doing out on a row or with someone else to compete or interfere with what she had going on with Netflix. And as far as Monique is concerned, $500,000 two years, uh, yeah, I can kind of understand why she would feel like, you know, that's not enough because, yeah, they should have offered her more money. And I understand why she didn't take it now because she's like $500,000 over two years and there's no telling what kind of bills Monique has at this point and what she has to maintain and keep up. So I'm just going to let her have that when she wins on that one. However, at the same time, Monique also has to accept that she did ultimately accept $50,000 from Lee Daniels. And it seems like anybody who does a movie, they're out promoting the movie afterwards. She had to know that she was going to be expected to promote the movie. She had to. And it's like, hey, if she's woman enough to admit like, hey, yes, I did accept $50,000 as an offer to a friend, she should accept the responsibilities that came with accepting that low ball offer. But, okay, so Monique's husband should not be managing her. He's just not doing a good job. Maybe he did a good job in the beginning, but he's not doing a good job now as far as the way things go in 2018. Like the Charlemagne joke, I feel like her husband should have told her, prepared her like, hey, 
we're about to go into this interview and there's going to be sound bites from it. It's probably going to go viral on the internet. So we need to come up with some things you can say that will become viral sound bites. And he didn't tell her to do any of that stuff. And ultimately he steady having her do interviews that ultimately they're not helping her cause. They're not. Um, he should just go back to being simply her husband and she should hire someone else that can help her get the job she desires. Monique missed an opportunity to up her worth and crack more jokes on a national platform. You see, with the Netflix special, Monique could have prepared herself once again, prepared herself, had great jokes written out, uh, and went on stage and killed it and cracked so many jokes that she had us cracking up and we would be on the internet, you know, just tweeting and talking about what was going on in the comedy special on social media, just like we're doing for Chris Rock right now. Every time us bloggers post something about Chris Rock, something from his Netflix comedy special, everyone else who's reading the blogs, they're like, oh, wow, that's, that's funny. Like, oh, I haven't seen the special yet. Uh, I'm gonna go log on to Netflix and I'm gonna go see the special, or they're saying, which is exactly what Netflix wants you to do, they're saying, oh, I don't have a Netflix subscription, but maybe I should go get one so that I can watch Monique. A missed opportunity, and if she cracked the joke she was supposed to crack, after that, it would have been a smash hit, and maybe, possibly, she could have upped her net worth again. You know, maybe that was her opportunity to stop people from continuing to lowball her since she says Oprah and Lee Daniels had her blacklisted. And lastly, I completely understand what Monique is trying to do. As a black woman, I'm not going to sit here and pretend like there is no validity to her issues. There completely is. Like uh, black women at work, when they go to work and they're, they're in that environment, they even experience issues. And I'm sure Monique is also experiencing issues. But the only thing is, due to Monique accepting that low offer from Lee Daniels, she no longer has the clout to be the person to take on this cause. She just doesn't. So it's like, you know what, Mon Monique, you know, bow out of it. Like, yes, you made a mistake. The mistake really did hurt you a lot, but bow out. And at this point, it's all about a solution now. Like, let's stop talking about the problem and figure out a solution. Like, what can you do to do your own thing? Like, maybe you should be on YouTube with your own show and upping your worth and upping your fan base and getting back in there. But, and at the same time, black women in general, we are undervalued. But... Monique, she can't compare herself to what people are doing currently and put that against what she did in the past because the climate has changed. And mostly the climate nowadays, if you don't have social media popping, these networks are not trying to mess with you. Even Chris Rock, his, I don't check what he has going on on social media, but I'm sure he has good numbers. Uh, Kevin Hart, Kevin Hart is hilarious. His, he does numbers on social media. So when someone picks him up for, so when someone picks, picks up Chris Rock for a project, they already know that he comes with millions of fans who are more than likely going to watch the project. That's just the way it goes. Things have changed. Monique has to go with the flow. That's it for today's video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And in the comments, let me know what you think about the Monique situation. And let me know you, what you think about my opinions. Till next time. Bye. Enjoy your mother, mother life. Living gooder than the mud. Oh, yeah. I got plenty money. So I spin it like a mug. I'm so mother loving sauce. Feel like mother freaking jiggy. They like, what the hell you doing? Stay out my mother loving business. I'm on my mother, mother ground.